So, where- Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? All right. Now, on to the- Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Ah, okay then. I don't think you have some milk on- Likewise. Remember the Civil War? The one that you got yourself involved in? Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well. Hmm... Growing up back on the island, I barely left the castle. Most of my knowledge from the outside world came from books. However, most of even that is sadly out of date, by at least several centuries. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. Hmm... I was just thinking about a book I read once. It was by a scholar named Aryo Avelin. He supposedly found a way to create a sentient encyclopedia, if books could even think for themselves. Isn't our soul what makes us sentient? Not like dull automatons or zombies. Or perhaps it's something else. Or a combination of things. Just some food for thought. So, what do you want to talk about now? I feel sad for her. She's been through a lot, I can tell. Whether it be the death of her Queen husband Tori, or having to govern voice. the entire province of Skyrim in the midst of a civil war and a looming threat of a Thalmor invasion. However, I'm confident she'll get through this. She's strong, and hardship breeds endurance. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. 